Hi, my name is Kelly Grincher. I'm the founder of the Marathon Wild Bird Center. Back in 1995, I actually left Boston and came down to the Florida Keys to do an internship at the Florida Keys Wild Bird Center in Tavernier. While there, even though I was a graphic designer, she asked if I was interested in starting my own facility in Marathon. There was one in Key West at the time and the one in Tavernier. I said, sure, why not? Who wouldn't want to start their own wildlife facility in the Florida Keys, a bunch of islands? We started here with this little carport behind me and we shipped all the birds to Key Largo where they would get treated by veterinarians. Eventually, we started working with the Marathon Veterinary Hospital here in Marathon. After 22 years of being back here in this wonderful, quiet, peaceful hammock where the birds are singing in the background, we have decided that it's time to fly forward. Our cages are falling apart. Let's face it, we live in the Florida Keys. We see a few storms every year. The weather is beautiful, but there's a lot of rain and a lot of sun. Everything's starting to pop and break and rot and we're ready to move forward. So we've asked the Land and Sea Trust if we could move to the front of the property where we'll have better exposure to the public. We're gonna take all of our birds, build beautiful new habitats for them and upgrade our hospital. But in order to make this happen, it's becoming a costly project. We thought originally we could pick up all our cages and just move, but it's not that simple. As I said, the cages are falling apart so we're gonna build all new out of aluminum and welded wire. Good afternoon, I'm Charlotte Quinn, Chief Operations Officer here at Crane Point. Wonderful, wonderful Crane Point with our beautiful hammock behind me. I'm here to talk to you today about flying forward. The Wild Bird Center is located right now in the middle of our property. We are moving it forward, flying forward. We have a gatehouse that is now housing my office, which will be turned into the Wild Bird Center Hospital and administrative offices. All that you see behind me will become brand new cages. I met Kelly Grinter about 20 years ago when I was a tourist and I would stop by the Bird Center every once in a while and I would help Kelly do things around the Bird Center and uh, clean the area. And about three years ago I moved down to the Florida Keys from Michigan, got to know Kelly a little better and began doing bird rescue with uh, another volunteer, Rick Roth, who was uh, one of the major uh, creators of a lot of the habitats in the back as well as a major bird rescuer. So Rick and I did a lot of uh, rescues together for the last year. And uh, Kelly was pretty impressed with the fact that I was able to, that I would do what I said I was going to do and uh, asked me if I would be interested in getting involved with this major project of the relocation of the Marathon Wild Bird Center. And it was dubbed the Flying Forward Campaign. So as of October in 2016, I've become now the project manager of the Flying Forward campaign. So the one thing we really do need, and we need very badly, is money. We need, oh, possibly $450,000 to $500,000 in order to successfully relocate the bird center and also to replace all of the habitats that have suffered so much over the last 20 years. And please, uh, please keep in mind that the Marathon Wild Bird Center has pr been providing free health care to the birds of the Middle Keys for the last 22 years. Hi, I'm Geraldine Detelm and I'd like to welcome you to the Marathon Wild Bird Center here in lovely Middle Keys. The Marathon Wild Bird Center and the Marathon Veterinary Hospital have been working together for over 20 years at this location and unfortunately it's beginning to show in the wear and tear of the establishment. So we need your help please help us move to the new location up front where you can visit us more often, where we can take care of our babies that come in and get dropped off more quickly and readily and our people in the city can drop off injured animals more easily and get to us in a timely fashion. Hi, I'm Monroe County Mayor George Nugent. I love the Florida Keys. We're here today in the Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust, also known as Crane Point Hammock, in the heart of Marathon. Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust is a trust that was established decades ago in an attempt to protect certain lands in the Florida Keys. They have done a tremendous job in protecting 64 acres of pristine hammock. It is situated in the city of Marathon and also houses the Marathon Wild Bird Center, which is located to the rear of the property. We're here today to discuss 
a project of moving the site from the back of the property to the front of the property. Welcome to the home of the Florida or the Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust, Crane Point Hammock. Um, it's a wonderful place here in the middle of Marathon. Uh, sits right on the on the highway at US 1 and, and Sombrero Beach Road. It's a gorgeous 65 acre tract of land. They're doing complete renovations of their facilities. Um, it's going to be a gorgeous new amenity, uh, much more available to the public that comes to Crane Point Hammock. They will become a tremendous asset for the, the Crane Point Hammock facility and ultimately we're going to have a bald eagle here which I think is going to be really great with a flight cage. I want to let you know who I am. I'm, I'm the chair now of Florida, or the Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust, which our principal component of is Crane Point Hammock. So uh, we support the Wild Bird Center in every way we possibly can and look forward to its movement. Hi, my name is Mitchell. I'm with AGK Contracting. Um, I'm going to be the general contractor for flying forward, moving the Wild Bird Center here in Marathon at Cranes Point. Back in this area over here, we're going to have multiple cages for where birds can be individualized and do their recuperation. On this side, we're going to have, again, more cages, but there'll be an ICU for the, after they're out of surgery to have a smaller individualized cage to, with heat lamps and keep them comfortable. Um, as they grow stronger, they can be added to some of the other larger cages where there'll be multiple birds in together. My name is Blake Lamb and I am Marathon Wild Bird Center's current intern. I'm in my third month of my internship and I have one to go. Um, the importance of the Marathon Wild Bird Center, um, especially recently with the Big Pine facility being shut down, is that birds wouldn't get saved in the Middle Keys area. You know, this is our jurisdiction, is the Middle Keys, so we're, we're a bit too far from the Key Largo facility and the Key West facility for them to be able to, to save the injured birds in our area. No donation is too small. We are grateful for every single penny we get in this Flying Forward project, and we hope to be flying forward soon. So please, if there's any way you can help us, any donation is not too small and not too large. So think about it. We're moving to the forward because we're going to be better exposed to the people of the Keys, to the visitors, to the locals who don't even know we're here after 22 years. And we're going to be a part of this hammock for a long, long time to come. So please, donate whatever you can. Your efforts will help tremendously in uh, the Fly Forward campaign that the Wild Bird Center is currently in the middle of. Thank you very much for your assistance and we look forward to uh, your help. We're in need of financial support, so if you could please donate, um, that would be, we would really appreciate that. We need your help, so please, if you can, no check is too small. I will make my donation and please also contribute yours. We need your help. Thank you so much for watching and for being part of this great community. And we'd love to have you more involved in the Marathon Wild Bird Center. So come and check us out. Thanks. So any amount that you may be able to contribute to help us keep the birds flying will be greatly appreciated. And every dollar will go to the Flying Forward campaign and furthering this uh, venture of ours. Thank you for watching.